In this video, I'm going to talk about inactivity trigger. Now, inactivity trigger it basically starts the topic after a period of inactivity from the user. Now, a while back, I posted a video in YouTube and a user named as Steven asked a question named as trying to implement inactivity trigger, but it does not seem to fire at all. Do you have any documentation or tips? So I thought of why not try this uh, inactivity trigger and see how we can simulate that in uh, the authoring interface. So uh, before we start with inactivity trigger, just to give you a basically a recap of what an inactivity trigger is. So inactivity trigger uh, is basically you can use to start the topic after a period of inactivity from the user. So take for example, if you have a chat built in or a copilot uh, which uh, does some action and say if the user has gone quiet for a specific period of time uh, and you want to trigger the re-conversation again then you can make use of inactivity trigger It's just to give that starting point for the user to again start the conversation now i have this uh, co-pilot which i have created named as girish dad service and it has a couple of simple topics so uh, as you see over here is it has already triggered and it is asking for uh, an input from the user so that uh, the copilot can answer the question now if i don't type in for a specific amount of time then I, what i want is like i want the uh, the copilot to ask user some question again and maybe restart that conversation so for that what we can do if i navigate to topics and if you navigate to say under systems there are like various system level topics as you see over here like conversation start conversation boosting end of conversation escalate fallback multiple topics smashed on error reset conversation sign in but i don't see any topic listed over here which can do that uh, inactivity triggers so for that what we can do we can uh, just say add a topic from blank and we'll name this as demo inactivity one. I'll just name it as one for time being. From here, phrases, if I click or change the trigger, I can just type in inactivity over here. And now I can say, send a message. And I'll say, why are you quiet? Please ask something. Okay, so this is a simple inactivity trigger. And I'll just click on save. Now, can we create an another inactivity trigger like in the entire copilot which we have already built? Uh, so let's do that. Let's go again, go back to the topic, add a topic, create from blank. And I'll just say demo inactivity two. Again, click on phrases, uh, not on phrases, but this icon change the trigger inactivity so i'm just typing inactivity it says start the topic after a period of inactivity and i'll say this is a second inactivity item so what we have done we have created two inactivity trigger you should not create two but i'm just just seeing the possibility of whether we can create uh, inactivity triggers or not yes we can create multiple inactivity trigger uh, now the main question is how to activate this inactivity trigger now as you see over here this is a trigger this is an inactivity trigger i'll click on edit now the moment you create edit it is asking for a manual input and it says choose how long a chat session must be inactive before this topic trigger now for the sake of demo i cannot wait 30 minutes okay so i want something which is very less okay maybe a minute or so uh, so as you see over here the option which i have is 15 minutes and 45 minutes and one hour okay there's nothing beyond that so but even i cannot wait 15 minutes in this demo just to show you uh, the inactivity uh, sessions so for that we have an option over here manual input and we can have formulas okay now as you see over here for 15 minutes it has taken 900 so i would say it's 15 into 60 which is 960 seconds <clears throat> now if i want uh, maybe a lesser value then i can put some value or i can use power fx formula for that 
So instead of 900, let me make it as uh, say 30. Okay, so if nothing happens for 30 seconds, then uh, let's trigger this. Okay, and here, as you see over here, this is something called as priority. Set priority for this trigger against other qualifying triggers with the lower numbers indicating higher priority. So let me put this as number two. Okay, you can put one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Uh, and then I have put as two. And I'll click on save. And then we will refresh this and we'll wait for 30 seconds. So I'm not going to put uh, any input on this interface and I'll just wait for 30 seconds uh, and see what happens uh, during this process of inactivity. Let's see whether it triggers that demo inactivity one trigger and it should give me a message that uh, why required, please ask something. And once uh, that message is received, I can then further uh, ask more information to this co-pilot. Now, as you see over here, it is not responding. So the test interface, which you have seen over here, the test your agent, it is not responding uh, to the inactivity trigger. So how do we test this? Now, this is the same question which has been asked by Steven that it is not responding in the test interface. How do I test it? Now, it has already passed a minute ago. So as you see over here, it is as a minute ago. Now, it has still not uh, uh, asked for that wire required, please ask something uh, text. Then what we can do, we can publish this copilot. Okay, so if I click on publish over here, it says choose publish to make the content available across all the channel that it is connected to. But before we even make it publish uh, or publish it, basically we need to first check what all channels are available. Now there are so many channels which are currently available. Uh, so it says because you choose Teams authentication. Now when I created this copilot, I used Teams authentication. Okay. Now it has a limited uh, channel capability. So what we need to do, we just need to go into the authentication settings, uh, which comes under settings security. Go to the authentication, and then from here I'll say no authentication. Okay. Uh, either I can select authenticate manually, authenticate with Microsoft or no authentication, but uh, I want to have a various set of channels for which I can publish this copilot to. So I'll just click on no authentication. I'll click on save. And then once it is saved, I'll just close this window. And now I'll publish this. So it is showing a uh, topic error. So I think uh, the, I had already had this created, this get to know vitamins and fruit. Uh, there are some issue with that topic. So let me go back here and maybe let me just say delete this. So if there are any errors which uh, exist within your copilot, it will not allow you to publish uh, and then once that is done what we can again do is go back to this application uh, and we can publish it now under channels as you see over here so there is a demo website there is a custom website so let's make use of <coughs> demo website copy the link and paste the link in a separate tab. And then let's wait for 30 seconds. So we are not going to provide any input over here in this window and we will wait for 30 seconds. So 
uh, once it is published correctly. So I think it's not published correctly. So let me go back and make some changes again. So demo inactivity. And I'll just say this is inactivity one. And the next one which I have created. So let me save this. And remember, we have set this uh, set the priority of this particular trigger over here. Like we have set 30 seconds and then priority is two. Uh, let me again go back to demo inactivity two and I'll just call this as inactivity number two and go back to edit. And here, instead of 30 minutes, again, I will keep the formula as 30. And this time the number would be say three. Okay. And I'll click on save. And go back to settings, security authentication just to see whether the no authentication is selected and I'll click on publish and once it is published we'll be able to test the demo website So let me close this window and let me copy the website link copy and now our copilot is triggered as you see over here it has given us a welcome message and let's wait for 30 seconds and see uh, out of the two inactivity triggers which we have created, which one gets triggered. So for the first one, I have kept the priority as two. And for the second one, I have kept the priority as three. So we have two inactivity triggers. And now, as you see over here, it has given us a message, why are you quiet? Please ask something now. Now, why it has triggered the inactivity number one? Because inactivity one has the priority number as two. Now, the two number two priority is in more like, say, uh, it's, it's prioritized compared to priority number three. So if I go to inactivity number one and show you in edit, I have kept the priority as two. And now if I go to demo inactivity number two, and I have kept the priority as three. Now, if I make this as one, and if I again save this and publish it, and again, one, let it publish, I'll just close this. Uh, I'll go to the channels, go to demo website, I'll copy this link, and I'll close this tab. And I now open this Copilot Studio demo website link. Now, again, it will trigger the application. It has given me the welcome message. Wait for 30 seconds and now see whether inactivity message one gets triggered or two. Ideally, the number two should be triggering because we have set the priority as number two for the second inactivity trigger. Okay, so as you see over here, the number two inactivity trigger has triggered and it says, why required? Please ask something now inactivity. Now, in this entire demo, what we have understood is we can have inactivity triggers within the application. It is not available by default. We need to create a custom topic and then change the trigger to inactivity trigger as we have done over here. So let me show you that. So we have created a custom topic uh, and then 
we have added an inactivity trigger. Inactivity trigger can be selected by changing the trigger and then selecting the inactivity trigger from the list. You can create multiple inactivity trigger. In inactivity trigger, basic the inactivity trigger basically does not get triggered in the authoring interface. So as you see over here, how no matter how many times you your idle over here, it will not trigger that. So you have to test it on a separate channel. Now in my case, I have tested it on a demo website. Now you can just test it on a Teams channel or you can test it on a different channel. So it will not work on the authoring interface. Second thing is uh, it will work uh depending on what value you have set now in order to set for from a demo perspective you cannot wait for 30 minutes so you have an option to change this value uh to from manual input to formula uh, earlier it was 900 over here you can make it 30 seconds or three seconds or five seconds whichever is feasible for you to test the application and the most important thing is priority which will decide out of multiple inactivity trigger within your application, if you set the lower number, it indicates a higher priority. And then on depending on that, it will trigger the uh, specific inactivity topic. So that's it folks. This is how you basically uh, use inactivity trigger and you test that inactivity trigger Apart from your Copilot Studio interface, you can test that in demo website from because in that particular channel, it actually works. Thanks for watching.